from speech recognition and face recognition to healthcare and marketing neural networks have been used in a varied set of domains hi all i'm zuleika from edureka and i welcome you to this session on what is a neural network an artificial neural network is the functional unit of deep learning deep learning uses artificial neural networks which mimic the behavior of the human brain to solve complex data driven problems now deep learning in itself is a part of machine learning which falls under the larger umbrella of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning are interconnected fields where machine learning and deep learning aids artificial intelligence by providing a set of algorithms and neural networks to solve data driven problems deep learning makes use of artificial neural networks that behave similar to the neural networks in our brain a neural network functions when some input data is fed to it now this data is then processed via layers of perceptrons to produce a desired output so let's understand neural networks with a small example now consider a scenario where you have been given a set of labeled images and you have to classify them into two classes one class containing images of non diseased leaves and the other class containing images of diseased leaves so how would you create a neural network that classifies the leaves into diseased and non diseased crops Now the process always begins with processing and transforming the input in such a way that it can be easily processed. In our case, each leaf image will be broken down into pixels depending on the dimension of the image. For example, if the image is composed of 30 by 30 pixels, then the total number of pixels will be 900. Now these pixels are represented as matrices which are then fed into the input layer of the neural network. Just like how our brains have neurons that help in building and connecting thoughts, an artificial neural network has perceptrons that accept inputs and process them by passing them on from the input layer to the hidden and finally the output layer. Now as the input is passed from the input layer to the hidden layer, an initial random weight is assigned to each input. The inputs are then multiplied with their corresponding weights. and their sum is further processed through the network now here what you do is you assign a numerical value called bias to each perceptron furthermore each perceptron is passed through activation or something known as a transformation function that determines whether a particular perceptron gets activated or not an activated perceptron is used to transmit data to the next layer In this manner the data is propagated forward through the neural network until the perceptrons reach the output layer. At the output layer a probability is derived which decides whether the data belongs to class A or class B. Now let's assume a case where the predicted output is wrong. In such a situation we train the neural network by using the back propagation method. Initially while designing the neural network we initialize weights to each input with some random values now these weights denote the importance of each input variable therefore if we propagate backward in a neural network and compare the actual output to the predicted output we can readjust the weights of each input in such a way that the error is minimized this results in a more accurate output and this is exactly what back propagation means Now let's discuss a few real world applications of neural networks. With the help of deep learning techniques, Google can instantly translate between more than 100 different human languages. Visual translation is an interesting application of deep learning. It can be used to identify images that have letters. Now once you identify them, they can be turned into text, translated and then the images are recreated with a translated text. In fact, Google has an app for this purpose. It's called the Google Translate app. Let's not forget to mention automated self-driven cars. Deep learning has played a huge role in the field of self-driving cars. From Tesla to Google-owned Waymo, self-driving cars are being perfected with the help of neural networks. Then of course, we have the virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, Cortana that can literally read your mind. These assistants are purely based on technologies including deep learning, machine learning and natural language processing. 
apart from this deep learning has also made its way into the gaming industry so all you dota fans out there might have already heard of the famous open ai 5 which is the first ai to beat the world champions in an esports game after defeating the reigning dota 2 world champions post the victory bill gates tweeted quote AI bots just beat humans at the video game Dota 2. That's a big deal because their victory required teamwork and collaboration, a huge milestone in advancing artificial intelligence. Now, guys, the applications of deep learning are not restricted to just games and machine translation. In fact, deep learning has found its way into the creative arts and music field. An AI based system called MuseNet can now compose classical music that echoes the classical legends like Batch and Mozart. MuseNet is a deep neural network that is capable of generating four minute musical compositions with 10 different instruments and can combine styles from country to Mozart and to the Beatles. Another creative product of artificial intelligence is a content automation tool called Wordsmith. Wordsmith is a natural language generation platform that can transform your data into insightful narratives. Tech giants such as Yahoo, Microsoft, Tableau are using Wordsmith to generate around 1.5 billion pieces of content every day. I can go on and on about the applications of deep learning. In the long term, we are hoping to see the use of advanced AI techniques like deep learning for the betterment of humanity. Irrespective of the threat AI is supposedly going to pose on humans, I'm a firm believer that AI will only benefit us in the long run. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!